clothes. My friends were mad. They're like, why do we go all the way here? I'm like, I don't know. I thought it would be interesting. I didn't realize it would be a complete waste of damn time. Welcome to Sound and Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I'm Tina, and this is my first ever tag video. I decided not to do the new booktuber tag because I looked at it and the questions I didn't think were that interesting, and I've been doing this for over a year, and I would rather do a tag that I'm kind of more interested in. So I watched this tag on Kit's World's channel. Kit is amazing, and I just love his videos. He's always so genuine and funny and heartfelt, and this tag really resonated with me. I was like, oh, why not just do this one? <laughs> Uh, Kit was the one who invented this tag, so I recommend you check out his channel and his video. I've included the link below. And this is the off-topic book tag. <laughs> I hope you find this tag exciting. There's, I've included pictures, so you have something other to look at than my face. And uh, I tell a very interesting story at the end about escaping the cops. So, um, yeah, if you want to know more about me, this is the video to watch. <laughs> the first question is, excluding book-related things, what are your favorite activities? I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> like, I have way too many hobbies and interests. I'm definitely one of those, like, jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none people. My partner says I do everything half-assed, and I, you know, I used to be like, no, I don't. And now I, like, embrace this concept. I'm like, you know what? There's no point in doing anything full-ass, because there wouldn't be time for anything else. So, <laughs> what are the stuff, what's the stuff that I do regularly half-assed? Uh, enough that I consider them hobbies. Cooking. I love cooking and baking. I love trying out complex dishes, you know, that takes take hours to prepare. You know, I like trying new styles and, you know, food from different cultures. I, I just love it. Uh, I love making cakes and other confectionaries. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say that my stuff is bake-off worthy because uh, definitely not in terms of decoration, but I'd say my stuff tastes pretty good. I like to play sports. I don't watch sports. I find watching sports boring, but I love playing sports. Um, I paddleboard. I've played soccer my whole life. Uh, I, I ski. I used to race slalom actually, and by race I mean I was on the team, not like I ever qualified or even, you know, completed a race successfully. Uh, <laughs> I golf terribly, and I love, love, love swimming. I love swimming. I hate working out though, I will say that. I don't think anyone, well, some people probably enjoy working out. A big hobby that I have is home renovations. So I have a certificate in interior decorating, brag. Um, <laughs> my partner and I have DIY'd our entire house. I mean, we hired out drywall in a couple rooms because, you know, if you don't do drywall all the time, it takes forever and it's messy. And if you screw it up, it looks terrible. Uh, we hired out the main floor tiling because that was a lot of tile. And, you know, we wanted it to look perfect. <laughs> and then our kitchen cabinets are custom. But Everything else we've done, like we've done our, everything except for our master bedroom we've renovated in this house, including our entire basement, which is about, I think it's like, like at least a thousand square feet. We've done, I think, three bathrooms, including all the tiling, replacing the fixtures, replacing with showers and tubs and everything like that. We gutted our entire main floor, took down walls, put up new walls, everything like that. I was also a residential painter as a job for a few months, so I'd say I'm pretty handy. I did do all the trim in my office, though, by myself, so I was pretty proud of that. I think I did a pretty good job. I still have to paint some of it. Uh, anyway, uh, another hobby that I do is writing, obviously. I've been writing since I was 12. I've talked about this a million times, but it is my baby. Uh, yeah, so I've got another book coming out uh, next year, a uh, trilogy. I've talked about this before, and I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I play video games when I have time. Uh, <laughs> I love anything Fallout related. I've played Fallout 3, you know, up to Fallout 76. I tried to play 1 and 2, but I can't handle there being no map. <laughs> I get so lost, I just can't do it. Um, Mass Effect, obviously, because, you know, my thing with aliens, and I got to sleep with all the aliens, so that's what Mass Effect is for. Um, Minecraft, I adore Minecraft, and I love, like, Skyrim, that kind of stuff. And, um, Borderlands. I really love Borderlands. I have a couple other hobbies, I guess. I love boating. My partner and I used to have a boat, and we were going to get, we we're going to get another boat, probably next year, um, because we sold ours because of various reasons. But, uh, I love boating. I have a boating license. I have a firearms license as well, and I used to have a motorcycle license, but I had no time to devote to that, so that has disappeared. <laughs> so I have lots of hobbies. I even like to do little fiddly things like diamond art and like cross stitch and stuff like that, but I only have time to do that like when I'm like on vacation. <laughs> so I have lots of hobbies. Uh, I also have children and I hang out with them too and a husband, so I don't know what, when do I have time to do anything. I don't know. Okay, do you play a musical instrument? Here's another hobby. I didn't even mention it. Uh, if so, which ones? Yes, I play piano. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. I'm not that great. I don't have like my grade 8 or anything like that. 
Um, but we do have a piano and I can plunk out a tune, I can read music. I took singing lessons for a few years and I sing all the time. I can regale you if you want. You know what, I'm gonna do it and if it sounds crappy, I will edit this part out. Uh, what should I sing? Now you say lonely You cry the whole night through Well you can cry me a river Cry me a river I cried a river over you That wasn't very good, but uh, there you go. That's what I do all the time. I also play the alto sax in high school, but I have no idea how to do that anymore. Uh, let's see. What genres of music do you like listening to? Well, there is one particular that I really only listen to, and that is indie rock. I love indie rock. It's pretty much the only thing I listen to. I, my favorite music is actually Dead Silence. Um, I like to like sit in my house with like literally no music going on, but um, if I listen to music like in the car or like when I'm doing something that requires music, it is indie rock. I do like other music. I mean, I particularly like classical music. Uh, I love progressive rock, and I love certain, cl you know, certain classic rock as well, like CCR, the CCR. Um, but indie rock, as he says, is my preferred genre. People seem to think that because I don't listen to other music, I don't like it or something. They seem to think they have to convince me to enjoy it, but I'm like, I'm just indifferent. I just don't care. Like, put on whatever you want in the background. I'm not listening to it. So, I, you know, I do hate <laughs> rap music that's particularly misogynistic like specifically like not just like a word here or there but like ones that are like icky um <laughs> i don't like house music <laughs> i don't like it <laughs> i sometimes put on instrumental post rock when i'm writing like this will destroy you i really like that band uh but i don't listen to that just like at random that's like what i do for writing to like motivate me my favorite bands would be the Rural Alberta Advantage, which is a Canadian indie rock band. Uh, the Offspring, I love The Offspring. Uh, Silver Sun Pickups, CCR, and Metric. So there's my favorite bands for you. <laughs> CCR is just kind of high. What foreign countries have you visited? I can't believe this is a question because now I'm going to talk for a long time. And I'm sorry, I have visited many foreign countries, not a billion. My sister went on a six month tour starting Australia and going all through um, different parts of Asia. Like she went to Vietnam and Laos and she went to Hong Kong and she went to all these places. She had a really cool trip. I did not do anything like that, but I've been to Ireland. Uh, we went to Dublin for a few days. I went to the Trinity Library and it made me cry. <laughs> We went to this cool haunted house in the southeast. I saw Yates's grave, which was kind of boring. I don't know why people look at graves. Now that I've done it, I was like, I don't really know what the point of this was. My friends were mad. They're like, why do we go all the way here? I'm like, I don't know. I thought it would be interesting. I didn't realize it would be a complete waste of damn time. Sorry. Like, whatever. It was a nice drive through the country. Uh, we saw the Cliffs of Moher. We rode horses in Galway. We went to the Giant's Causeway. And we went to Belfast in Northern Ireland. And then we also went to, which was the coolest thing, we went to Skellig Island, which is where they filmed the movie The Last Jedi. We went like the spring before they filmed there and it was so cool. It was so neat. Like all the little beehives that he lives in, those are actually there and monks lived in them in like 400 like uh, BC or whatever like that. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I've been to Puerto Rico. We stayed in this villa, like we didn't stay in like a resort or anything, and we did all this cool stuff. Like, we went ATVing in the jungle. We went to, on this um, this nighttime lagoon tour and kayaks to look at like the sparkling water, which is like the diamond flagellates that, that like react to um, to what is it? Photosynthesis. I can't remember what the term is for what they do. <laughs> they sparkle <laughs> in the in the night. <laughs> in the water. Anyway, we went to a coffee plantation, we went to San Juan. I adored Puerto Rico and I would totally go back. Uh, I've been to Germany because my dad lives there, so we've toured all over there. Um, Berlin, we've done nights out in Hamburg, various places, you know, Cologne. Uh, we went to this really cool castle called Wartburg Castle, which was really neat. Uh, we drove from Germany to Brussels and I got tanked in Brussels, in Belgium, just absolutely ruined there. Um, and then we went to Vimy Ridge in Paris, in France. I've been to Cuba, Dominican, Mexico, and Jamaica. Uh, I've also been to many of the American states. Um, I did two road trips. I did one down the east side and up. And, like, the highlights of that were we drove, like, three hours into, like, backwoods Ohio looking for this, like, ghost town called Moonbeam. And we actually found it by hiking, like, half an hour through the snow. I loved to Baton Rouge and Savannah, Georgia was like amazing. Uh, the second road trip I did in the States was to Arizona and back. And the highlights of that being, uh, we drove, we did this crazy like 3,000 foot high cliff drive in our Jeep. <laughs> 
in Moab, Utah. That was awesome. We went to, um, we went to, like, a national park in, like, New Mexico where they had all these, like, pteroglyphs and, like, these, um, like, uh, petrified, the petrified forests where, you know, all the, all the, the trees and the wood have become, like, rocks. It's really cool. And then the Grand Canyon. I've been to the Grand Canyon twice. So I went to the Grand Canyon, the, the main side that has all the touristy crap on it. I went there on that trip. And then I've been to Vegas, like Las Vegas, twice. And both times I took road trips in the desert. The first time we checked out some ostriches and then we went to the western side of the Grand Canyon. And then the second time I was there for a bachelorette party. And I, because I'm antisocial, I guess, I rented a Mustang by myself and I did this like eight hour drive through Nevada. I went to Red Rock Canyon and then I drove all the way down to California. I basically stopped up on all these places that are in the game Fall New Vegas because I'm a dork but it was really fun and it was really cool and like at one point I was going down this stretch of highway and there was like nobody on it for like 45 minutes and I was just booting it I was only like 110 it was kind of freaky because I was like if something happens to the car like <laughs> who knows and it was like so hot it was probably like 40 degrees out like I kept reapplying like 100 sunscreen like every five minutes because it was a convertible anyway I've also been to British Columbia and Newfoundland, and uh, next four on my list, top four, would be Scotland, Amsterdam, Tokyo, and Iceland. Um, but I have small children, so who knows if this will happen. We'll probably just end up going out east again. <laughs> that was long, sorry. Um, have I ever been arrested for something hilarious? Share it, but only if it's safe to do so. I've never been arrested because I didn't get caught. Uh, when I was quite young, a certain movie was very popular, or at least a movie series, <laughs> Fast and the Furious. And so all of my friends, we had our, souped up our cars. You know, we had like, I had a Honda Civic. It was a 99, so that tells you that. This was probably 2002. So I was probably 19 or 18 when this happened. And so I had this like strut bar in my car. I had a dual exhaust. I had all this stupid stuff. And so my friends and I were going up this rain road in our, in our city. And... It's, it's only 50, but everybody goes at least 70 on it, but we were not going that slow. We were going, I mean, it's not a residential area. There are, there is a residential area to the left of it, like if you're going up the road, but the houses have these giant, a giant retaining wall. So it's not like it's housing. There was just like a factory. So I was in the front. One of my friends passed me and I was like, hey, and then the other one passed both of us. And I was like, screw you guys. So I gunned around both of them. And just as I did that, uh, we came to like a side street and um, <laughs> there was a police officer there. And so I didn't notice this until I got to a stop sign further on and I saw in my rearview mirror the lights and I was like, uh, the first thing I did was I was like, nope. <laughs> Through my head I was like, if they catch me, they're gonna charge me with stunt racing. Because this was a new thing at the time where like they were charging people for doing this that they should have. It was very dangerous. Uh, so I left, I just, I just screwed off. I took off, <laughs> abandoned my poor friends, and I, I turned down a bunch of side streets, and then I pulled into a driveway, I turned off the car, and I just sat there. I think I was there for 10 minutes. Like, I waited 10 minutes, or maybe it was even 15 minutes. It was a long time. And then I finally pulled out, and I went the long way around to my friend's house, and they were, and I was like, what happened? Apparently, the cop, because he didn't see, he only saw me do it, he didn't see them do it, he couldn't charge them with anything. My friends were nice and pretended they didn't know me. <laughs> they were like, oh, we didn't know who that guy was. <laughs> So that was nice. This is when my friends had my back. Um, but yeah, so that's the time I almost got, I wouldn't have gotten arrested, but I don't know, they would have been pounding my car maybe. So yeah, <laughs> there's a story for you. So yeah, that's the end of this tag. So my camera battery died at the most inconvenient time ever. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you are a booktuber, uh, feel free to use this tag, I guess. I'm not going to tag anybody because I don't have any friends. But if you would like to do this tag, uh, go right ahead. And uh, thanks again to, to Kit for having an amazing channel because it's like the highlight of my day whenever he posts a video. So thanks. <laughs>